and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, he's avoidant and you want to bring him closer to you. <laughs> All right, really quickly uh, before we get started, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can get notified of new content. I usually shoot about two or three or four videos a week, so there's a lot there to unpack. All right, he's an avoidant and you want to bring him closer. So let me tell you where this video came about. I was watching a, another video from someone else that says, are you with a guy who doesn't text message you regularly, doesn't tell you goodnight via text message, doesn't wake up in the morning, say hi to you, he's inconsistent with his behavior and you want to draw him closer to you, then do these three steps and this will happen. And I'm here to say hogwash. I mean, I, I literally want to stick my finger down my throat because here's the reality of things. And I'm being very blunt here. If you need someone to regularly keep in contact with you so you can feel good about yourself, then you've missed the boat. In fact, because if you need someone, so, someone to tell you basically to love you so you can love yourself, then you're basically not loving on yourself. And that's what I want to lean in today. Because truthfully, each person operates their own way. And while I, hey, listen, I understand that if you're in a relationship, you want to have regular communication. I get that, but that's not what I'm talking about. If you need it to feel good about yourself, then you're not loving on yourself. And if you're not loving on yourself, it's time to begin loving on yourself. And if you're not familiar with the book, The Untethered Soul, <laughs> The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer, you have to check this out. This book is gonna help you learn to talk to the voices in your head, that voice that says, I'm not good enough, I'm not lovable, I'm not likable. Because that's what's going on when you need reassurance or validation from someone else. And it honestly means that on some level, we're not loving on ourselves. So if we're not loving on ourselves, how can we give love to another? And yet we've been so conditioned that if we give love to someone else, we should get it back. If we give love to someone else, we should get it back. And that is just a give to get type of mentality or not a mentality, a, a level of, um, of neediness that's going on inside one of oneself. So I'm here to say, I got something in my mouth. <laughs> um, I'm here to say that the most important thing is not about drawing him closer to you. And we'll talk about avoidance in a second. It's more about learning to love on yourself. So, hey, I talk a lot about my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? What the heck is self-love anyway? This is a journey of personal development, self-help, and spiritual work so you can begin to love on yourself. I introduce you into all the great books and the great teachings that I've learned to somewhat love myself way more than I did before. Hey, I was like many of you. I was needy. I needed someone to continually validate me so for me to feel good about myself because I have what's called an anxious attachment style. And But this topic is around avoidant attachment style. So let's differentiate between the two. The anxious person like myself is needy. We need attention so we can feel, we need attention from you to feel good about ourselves. The avoidant is fearful of attention, fearful of that because they were conditioned as children not to trust love. And if you're not familiar with the book uh, Attached, Attached by Amir Levine, Attached, <laughs> uh, I'm holding this up, is that avoid, here's the thing about avoidance. I know a lot of women like to characterize men as emotionally unavailable or avoidant. Now, part of this is because as boys, we were so conditioned to stuff our feelings in. We were told to be a man, not to show our emotions, not to express our feelings. And what's interesting that happens in malehood, if you will, is um, we've been taught as young boys to stuff our feelings, not express our feelings to someone, especially if we care for someone. Now, the needy person like me has to express our feelings, has to express our feelings because we need it reflected back. By the way, for the record, I've healed my uh, anxious attachment uh, to the point where if it was an eight before, it's probably a two or three right now. <laughs> 
So I'm still a little bit needy, but I'm way less needy because I've learned to love on myself. Okay, so now going back to the avoidance. Um, the avoidant, as, as I said before, is oftentimes considered this emotionally unavailable person. They're afraid of love because they were so conditioned that way. And we men were conditioned to stuff our feelings. But as I said, as we age, what's interesting that happens is about the time we hit around 35, our testosterone levels begin to drop and our estrogen levels begin to increase. And what happens with that estrogen increase is we start feeling we, we start having these experiences we're not used to, which are called feelings. And in many cases, it comes out very unpredictive kind of behavior. This is one of the reasons why we, you know, we come on strong and then disappear. There's a back and forth. We can be very volatile in our emotions. And what I mean by volatile, I don't mean physically volatile. I mean internally volatile. It's so confusing for many men, myself included. So what happens is, is behavior is inconsistent. We can be hot, we can be cold, all this stuff. Now you're probably thinking, well, gosh, Jonathan, I don't want to be in a relationship with that kind of guy. Well, yeah, I get it. And this is why I'm a big proponent that every human being begins a daily practice of personal development, self-help, and spiritual work. Listen, I just shared with you three books, three books you know, that can begin the journey. And when we do this work, whether man or woman, we become more secure in how we approach relationships. And ladies, you know, I'm a big proponent of, hey, if you're gonna allow a penis into a vagina, and I know some of you were offended by that, and my apologies, but if you're gonna have regular sex with a guy, then start to introduce personal development as part of a regimen to help your relationship become stronger. Because this casual fantasy way that a lot of people expect relationships to happen through dumb luck, dumb luck. By the way, I have a podcast. If you're not familiar, I have a podcast called the What Would Love Do podcast. Uh, you just go to Apple or my website to get. Uh, and one of my uh, upcoming episodes, or actually by the time this video is out, is called uh, Men Fall in Love Through Dumb Luck. Because literally, you, men, everybody, is, a, is approaching the dating, mating, and relating process with dumb luck. And I'm here to say when you introduce some really healthy personal development, self-help, and spiritual work, along with the great books that I share with you, you know, Eight Dates, Getting the Love You Want, um, The Five Love Languages, just to name a few, are going to help you prepare for a healthy, happy relationship. And what is luck? Luck is Preparation meeting opportunity. So I'm here to prepare you for this great relationship. So you don't have to watch this video of trying to figure out how to get a guy closer to you if he's avoidant, because it's all bullshit. It's not about bringing him closer to you. It's about bringing yourself closer to yourself, to love on yourself. So you don't need someone to love you to feel good about yourself. And if he doesn't need someone to love him to feel good about yourself and you're in a partnership, you can go down this train track of what I call partnership, hopefully in a healthy, happy place. Because here's the bottom line. If you need to watch some of these videos to try to bring some closer to you, it's almost already going to fail. Bring yourself closer to you through self-love. <laughs> and by the way, the link to the book is right below. You're going to have a better chance of attracting what you want. <sighs> All right, I said a mouthful. Okay, I think you get the gist of where I'm going. Like to hear your thoughts, please post a question. I do my best to read all of them uh, and try to respond to many of them as well. Also, if you're like pulling your hair out with some guy and you want some male perspective, then schedule a link, schedule, hit the link below to schedule a discovery call with me because I am a master at helping you understand men from the male perspective and navigate communication and actually either help you improve your relationship or help you to move on to find the right guy. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a hug of self-love. I'm going to give you a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone next to you and give them a hug if you can, because hugs are a great source of love and we all need more love in our lives. Thank you so much and wishing you a super duper wonderful, fantastic day. Bye-bye now.